Hello, good day everyone. So this is another tutorial session. Uh, this is will be about how are we going to mirror or share our screen in Zoom meetings to our Teams live event. Uh, we all know that the Zoom meeting is only limited, usually for free users, it's limited only to 250 or 300 users in us inside the meeting. And uh, price increases as you want to accommodate more persons inside the meeting like for example if you want to accommodate a thousand persons inside a scheduled meeting so the price also will be increasing and if you want more prices will also be more for you so what do we do is uh, in zoom meetings we'd like to have all would like to let only those essential persons who would like to be there to be in the zoom meeting while those persons who'd like to be audiences only and uh, for example in orientations or trainings uh, if those persons are just audiences it's good also to broadcast them if you want to check the attendance uh, automatically uh, it's good that we broadcast them in teams live event so how are we going to do this number one you need to have the zoom link or the zoom link or the zoom meeting id so number two you'd like to create a teams live event in your teams in your calendar so first you go to your calendar uh, that can be seen in the app bar in the left side navigation bar of your teams then go to the for example in this 23rd of july so in this drop down arrow here not just click the meeting here or the meet now but instead there's a drop down arrow here and select live event so live event for example let us say uh, July 23 2020 regional webinar or regional webinar series for July 23, 2020. So like for example, that's the title. And then uh, what's the start or the time that it would start? So I'll start, uh, usually we start by 9 a.m. It'll be start, oh, let me check. What time is it? Uh, no, yeah, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then there's another session, 2 a.m. to 4 p.m. But I'll be, like for example, I'll just have 9 a.m. to directly to that 4 p.m. schedule okay and then assign producers another producers uh, so that if you'll be if your internet is intermittent and if you will be having problem with your internet as producer there will be backup producers in your behalf so in my case i usually assign uh, our teams coaches and champions who were trained for teams live event so I'll be putting them now. Uh -huh. And you can also assign presenters here. So for example, you have invited speakers. So that un unlike other platforms, those selected presenters and producers only will be the one to be able to present something because the security for security issues some some participants might be presenting something that are not appropriate for the said event that's it that's the that's one good thing about teams live event okay some more i'm assigning this this very good persons in the a division of late because we want to assign uh, point persons in every area so to have uh, some specific problems in the specific area can be addressed in their level and lastly so yeah this is how you set up teams live event then click next and then if you want to uh, limit your broadcast to the persons only in your organization like for example in this case my tenant is in r8 tenant it's a regional tenant but if you'd like to for your broadcast to be available to any teams users 
or the any office 365 or teams users yeah uh you can set this one to public okay and then you can check also this uh check this q a portion so that your participants can be able to ask questions and and maybe you as producers or presenters can actually answer or your speakers then schedule the event so like this now this is the attendee link this is the link that you're going to give to your uh, participants like for example you can just copy this this one and then this is already copied to your clipboard and just paste this to your messenger uh, group chats uh, to your Facebook groups to your Facebook pages and to, to other social media platforms or maybe uh, in your emails in your SMS like that and then if I join okay, if I join if I join this yeah, I will have this option so I can have to, I can have the option to turn off my my camera first and then I will join as producer of this event okay so this is the preview as producer so later they will be if if my if the my co-producers will be here they will be also be seen here so now what's the next thing the idea is to mirror our Zoom meetings here in our Teams live event. So we go now to the Zoom meeting. So I'll go to the Zoom meeting that was given to me. I mean, where the link was given to me. Then, yeah, I just opened the Zoom meeting here. So that's that's the, the fun thing also about Zoom. And the cool thing about it is that uh, it's just so easy to join things like this okay please wait for the host to start this meeting now uh, the host of the zoom meeting is not yet started the zoom meeting that's why but I can already share the zoom meeting though it is not yet start or it has not started yet to our teams live event so that if the zoom meeting starts it will also start in my teams live event though there's a short of delay of around how many seconds or minutes so what I'm going to do is I'll go back to my Teams live event. Hey, <laughs> okay. I'll just minimize it first, and then I'll share. There's a share button again. There's a share button here in your lower right corner of your screen, uh, just above the mute all. So there's a share button there, and then please do not forget to check this include system audio if you'd like to. Uh, if you'd like to broadcast also the audio in your zoom in your zoom meeting uh, if you forget to include system audio this small little box here you will not hear anything uh, from your zoom meeting to your lives event so you need to include system audio and then choose what presentation or what window are you going to share so I'd like to share my zoom meeting that's why yeah I, this, this is already checked include system audio and then waiting for the host in my zoom meeting so i'll just share my screen in my zoom meeting that's it and i'll go back to my teams producer view okay then i'll click my desktop here and look at that Uh, it says it, where your shared window sharing is supposed until you turn to the shared window because I minimized the window. But later on, uh, I'll just I'm just going to send it live. Oh, I cannot send it live unless it's here. So, uh, yeah, I can just yeah I cannot click the send live. <laughs> okay, so I'll just click send live. And when you send live. I'm going to start this so that the live event will be starting and it says here once you start you cannot stop and restart the event can last up to 16 hours from start time and attendance and then this will will watch a 10 to 20 second delay yeah that's that then I'll just click continue and right now the live event is starting and please do not forget to unmute your mic so that whatever audio that you have in the 
teams in the zoom meeting will be also heard here okay and take note uh, you will see the number of attendees here you will see the uh, meet uh, the questions or the conversation here and the key questions here later for the Q&A and then do not press this end button unintentionally especially if the event has not yet uh, finished because once you click or any of the producers will click this end button there's no restart you'll not be able to join the event so the event will just end automatically okay so again uh thank you so much and good morning